Another big story for you right now at 530. The impeachment trial against President Trump is officially underway in the Senate. Charges were read yesterday and U.S. senators have now been sworn in to act as the jury. The trial is expected to start on Tuesday. And as Chief Capitol reporter Susan Raff tells us right now, Congress is divided on whether there should be more witnesses and maybe more evidence. Hi, Susan. Hi, Mark. The big issue right now is will witnesses be allowed in these proceedings? Now, Democrats feel they should be, and some Republicans may agree. Opening arguments start next week in the Senate. Democrats want new witness testimony to be part of the trial. We need to get the truth, and that means witnesses and documents. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal wants a fair process, but for witnesses to appear, there would have to be agreement from all Senate Democrats, and at least four Republicans. Senate Republicans Lisa Murkowski, Susan Collins, and Mitt Romney have all indicated they might support that. We're going to vote on that at the appropriate time after we listen to the argument. House Democrats say new evidence continues to emerge about the president's campaign to pressure Ukraine to start an investigation into the Bidens. I should be their number one witness because I'm the one that got all the dirt. Former Trump donor and indicted businessman Lev Parnas says he was the man President Trump and his personal attorney Rudy Giuliani entrusted with getting Ukraine to announce the investigation. We can take whoever wants to come. Friday morning, President Trump added new members to his legal defense. Constitutional attorney Alan Dershowitz and Ken Starr, the independent counsel in the investigation that led to President Clinton's impeachment at one time. Trump called Starr a freak. Mitch McConnell has said he is going to take his cues from the White House. In effect, allowed Donald Trump, the defendant here, to run his own trial, which is not the way trials work. There are 53 Republicans in the 100-seat Senate. It would take 67 votes to convict the president and remove him from office. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.